we can't let the president or anyone tell us that cutting back on freedom is the way to solve this problem. Governor Kevin Stead promises to fight back against COVID-19 vaccine mandates by the federal government. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. In just the last few hours, a federal judge has blocked the president's mandate for federal contractors. This comes as the governor, Oklahoma's attorney general, and many others have been outspoken against these mandates. News on 6's Jonathan Cooper is live tonight with details. Jonathan. Craig and Lori, the state has already filed five different lawsuits challenging vaccine mandates. Governor Kevin Stitt and Attorney General John O'Connor are fighting back and sharing a common goal this evening to stop the Biden administration from imposing COVID-19 vaccine mandates on Oklahomans and entities throughout the state. The decision to take a COVID vaccine should be made by Oklahomans and their doctors not their bosses, and certainly not the federal government. This morning, the governor, attorney general, and business leaders all spoke out against several mandates handed down by the federal government. The rules, some of which have already been enjoined in federal courts, range from mandates on health care workers, federal contractors, private businesses, and the National Guard. All mandates O'Connor is suing over, as he told me yesterday in an interview with News on 6. The reason for all five of our lawsuits, really, is that uh, the rights and liberties belong in the individual. Both O'Connor and Stitt, a former CEO, are also outspoken about what mandates could mean for employers and the economy. Dana Weber is the CEO of Webco Industries in the Tulsa area. We believe that the federal government does not know what's best for us out here in Oklahoma, particularly in the rural parts of Oklahoma. Weber says if a mandate on private businesses goes through, which also includes the option for weekly testing for non-vaccinated employees, she'll still lose about 20 percent of her workforce. Now, some critics have questioned the price tag for all of these lawsuits. Earlier this year, the state legislature passed House Bill 1236, which set aside $10 million for lawsuits just like this. O'Connor says that the state has not spent all $10 million of that just yet. Reported live in Tulsa, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.